want to learn 3D animation and I'm giving myself seven days. Seven days. Right now, I only know how to make a cube move. Technically, this is a 3D animation, so I want to be able to animate characters. Animate real expression, movement that feels real, has weight to it. How hard can it be? Maybe I should give up. So I mainly want to learn 3D animation for games, which is a little different than animating for movies. But some people would argue animating for games is even harder. Game animations need to look good from every angle. Movie animations just have one single camera angle. But movies often require way more attention to detail. So like there's downsides to both. Anyway, making something move is not hard. Keyframe, move, keyframe, done. Change the curve, we did it. You can learn this too. The hard part is the actual subtle nuances of real character movement. Showing personality through movement, emotions, expression. I don't know if I can do this. How do I go from this to this? Uh, so first, the foundation. Fun fact, I made a couple 10 second Minecraft animations when I was 14. So uh, you could say I have a head start, but can you really? Monsters. Can you really? I don't just start animating and be good at it. I need to know something about the animation principles people can shut the fuck up about. And if I'm really serious, read this book people can shut the fuck up about. I already did this when I followed a 2D animation class last year. So I'm starting off strong here. A lot of the fundamental knowledge needed for 2D animation translates well to 3D animation. At least you would think with the foundation there, we can start. So first things first, I need a rig. 3D animated characters are able to move based on their bone structure, also known as a rig, which I could manually set up myself or uh, Google. I found this rig online called the Bony Rig. Shout out to this guy. Actually, learning rigging yourself is quite relevant to 3D animation, but I'm putting that off for now. Fun fact, a teacher told me to learn to make good animation. Don't use your own crabby rig. You just learned how to make. That's not exactly how he said it, but that's how I'm saying it. Uh, by the way, I'm using Blender. Everyone keeps telling me Maya is way better for animation, but eating healthy is also better for your health, and I'm not doing that either i really believe as long as you have keyframes and a graph editor it does not matter i'm definitely not biased i'm not wearing blender socks right now i'm not a biased blender fan boy shut the fuck up i mean seriously would you buy maya socks would you those would be ugly fucking socks that's why they don't even sell them blender socks are fucking sick better socks better software so anyway first day of animating I decided to just try to make a basic ass walk cycle using reference from this book. Animating as a beginner without reference, it's like getting into a car blindfolded. D don't, don't do that. First time I tried using reference went way better. Just trying to get the key poses right. Took some time to not make his arm drift off or break his foot. After a couple hours, it walks. It, it does look like something's wrong with him, but yeah, hey, he walks. Next up, I'm making a drunk walk. Adding extra challenge. So this time I'm gonna film myself for reference. You might think that's stupid, but actually Pixar animators do this as well. So, and because I care about realism, I'm gonna actually get drunk. That was a joke. I don't need alcohol to look stupid. So I filmed myself walking drunk, took a couple takes till I was happy with it. And I started animate. Little side note. This is also the point someone asked me, why not just use motion capture? It's when you put on this weird ass suit and, and just move and you get animations done that's it why film myself and try recreating it when i can just put on a suit and be done with it okay well cool and all but it would be pretty limiting if that's the only way you can animate uh, because what if you want to do three backflips or animate a spider what you're gonna give a spider a motion capture suit that's a an awesome idea i'm writing that down what if you want to animate a dragon what you're gonna do find someone that looks like that when not animating normal humans motion capture is quite limited and i'm not really learning 3d animation that way so uh right where was i drunk well so I spent half a day working on this till at some point I started to relate to this character. But hey, it looks pretty alright. I thought it was so cool, I tweeted it. But, but people told me this tweet without context is really weird, so I, del I deleted it. I also tried putting this in a game engine. Where are his feet? And it works! Next up, I'm doing an attack animation. I thought about doing the famous anime sword slash, but after studying its movement, I noticed it's more about sound than visual effects because the character itself literally barely moves. It's so fast, you don't even animate the attack. I ended up coming up with a different idea. I'm giving this guy a really big gun and he's gonna charge it and he's gonna get completely blown away by the knockback. This time I wanted to try using online reference, but I couldn't find much useful sh except gun knockback funny moment videos. I don't think I can show those. So I recorded myself again. When my teacher saw this, he said I really need to actually hold a heavy object because what I'm doing right now doesn't look right. So I randomly found this perfectly sized wooden box right outside my classroom. I'm not making this up. And I took reference pictures. So with the new reference pictures, I definitely noticed differences in my pose. So time to animate. This time I ran into new problems. Having him actually hold the gun properly. I tried just animating it separately, but he doesn't look like he's actually holding it. So this is when I learned about constraints. 
I can parent parts of the rig to whatever object and now I can animate the gun and the body follows it. That's amazing. I learned a lot of cool tricks. I found out about using modifiers for animation so I can make it shake and build up. So it looks like the gun's actually charging. And then boom, I'm quite proud of this animation. There's big progress compared to when I started. But it's only been like three days. It's already been three days. But then I wanted to get this into Unity. What the fuck is happening? What the fuck? So half a day of fucking around and I realized using constraints in Blender without knowing what I'm doing meant I fucked everything up in a way the game engine doesn't know what to do with it anymore. Conclusion. So I asked my teacher, long story short, something to do with rigging. How I would probably go about this depends on which way I would use it in my game. So for now, too complicated for me. Next up, fun fact. While doing this project, I'm also working on a real heart rate based boss fight, which is my next video. Spoiler. But I wanted the boss to be animated. So this is the perfect time to put these projects together. I'll go into more detail in the next video. But I ended up having to rig the boss. Which means I had to learn rigging. Rigging really scares me. I mean, that's why I was putting it off earlier. I'm putting that off for now. Especially with the limited time I have. But I was like, fuck it. I was watching a tutorial. And it's way easier than I thought. In fact, it's fun. It's actually fun. It's like bringing something to life. It's absolutely amazing. Of course, this is like the easiest rig ever. So it might not be fun anymore when rigs get more complex. But I don't care. It's fun now this opens a lot of new doors i thought i learned rigging in seven days it was going to be another video but look at me now you just make bones like which parts they affect and add constraints done 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 i feel like professional riggers are absolutely laughing at me right now fucking spilling their tea all over their keyboard blown away by how stupid i am are, are professional riggers watching this video because rigging is a full-time job in game studios so there's definitely stuff i don't know anyway i made a couple animations with my own rig i learned about the nla editor from this minecraft animator guy thank you now i know how to make several animations for one character and i just generally have a better understanding of what i'm doing right now earlier i was just looking around well i'm still doing that i will never stop doing that and this totally worked i started learning the unity animator and actually using it in game but like more on that next video back to this project okay sure i made some animations now but now for the last real challenge actually animate personality and complex movement this gray rig should be able to show personality just through its movement without facial expressions just body language facial expressions is a whole different topic well i have experience now so no problem i wrote some details about a character i'm going to be animating blah 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 freestyle hoverboarder agile quick reflexes despite his great strength and agility he's shy and insecure read it all if you're interested i wrote this character with an in-depth personality for a real good animation challenge so I ended up coming up with an idea after watching free run video. I want him to casually walk beside an alleyway, trying to hide his laser gun. He's a cyborg, by the way. When he notices he is being watched by us, the viewer. I then he does two wall jumps, a corkscrew over a fence, lands perfectly aiming at the camera, and shoots. Um... Should be easy enough. I'm not making this hard for myself. I really wanted him to put his hands in his pockets, but this character doesn't have pants. Oh my, oh my god, is this nudity? Is YouTube gonna block this? So far, I spent five days. I have two days left. I went all over Pinterest trying to find reference. I found a lot of free run videos and flips that were really helpful, but finding references for poses relevant to this specific personality was really hard, but I ended up finding uh, some photos. That... So I wanted to film myself for reference, but uh, fun fact, I don't know how to do a corkscrew. I mean, that would be a separate seven day learning video. I'm not really interested in learning that either. I guess I can do some wall jumps. I can do wall jumps. Okay, I tried this at home, but then I realized I was jumping against the walls of other people who live here, so oops. So I went outside to find a wall. Finding a wall that's not directly someone's house was actually pretty difficult. But then I had an amazing plan. I'm just gonna jump against a tree. Only the tree would be bothered by that. So I went into the woods thinking this was an amazing plan. And... What choices did I make that made my life turn out this way? I'm just gonna jump against a tree. I fucking had to do a wall jump. Yeah, I can do a wall jump. I'm glad I didn't do this shit in the city. I would have broken my ankle or something. So I did some editing magic and I made some animation reference. I don't know if I should laugh or cry. My friends also love it. Shout out to Ronnie Street Stunts for the corkscrew. Really helpful actually for my animation. So now we have this absolute masterpiece of an animation reference. Let's get animated. I spent a lot of time trying to make the first walk, but I didn't really feel happy about it. It just doesn't have the expression I want. I feel like my real walk is way more a feeling of nervousness. Because fun fact, I, I was nervous because I didn't want any of my neighbors to see me doing this. I'm, I'm posting this on the internet. Doesn't make sense, I know. But So I looked really closely at the key poses from my original footage and completely started over. I've been recording for so long that you can see me ordering pizza now. anyway i noticed animating isn't really that hard 
but conveying expression and personality is. Redoing it was the right call because it looks so much better now. So starting with the wall jumps, my tree footage was still helpful even though it has its problems. Really try to pay attention where the center of gravity is. The second wall jump I had to freestyle because the one in my footage doesn't help much. I actually feel like this part was way easier than the first little walk because there's way less expression in a wall jump than in this subtle wall. The tiniest details make way more difference with subtle animations. So I tried to freestyle the corkscrew animation. Didn't really go well. So I went back to the corkscrew tutorial and just listened to his explanation. I realized you kick up for momentum. Tried it and it looks way better. Still a little off though. So I asked friends for feedback. Got a lot of it. Like what the fuck is this lag doing here? All their subtle details. And I did some changes and now I have this. In-game engine by the way. I'm pretty proud of this. Came a long way from my Minecraft animation. Really excited to actually animate my own characters in the future. That means I first have to learn how to make 3D characters. See you next video. <laughs> So in the end, would you say I learned 3D animation in seven days? I don't know. Obviously, looking at actual 3D animations, some people might expect making the character and even the environment is like part of it. Those are separate things. And I'm going to be making videos about those as well. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know if you like this type of video. Try making it way faster than the previous video. Maybe this is too fast. Let me know. I'm going to try uploading every two weeks from now on or at least every month. But uh, I thought I could do it last time. So it's not a real promise. But I love learning something while making a video about it. Giving myself a deadline. Sharing my experience. It's fun. There are so many things I still want to learn. So enough videos to make. Big change from going from anime videos. But shit like this is kind of what I've been doing for the last year. And I'm going to continue doing it. If you were already subscribed, you might know me from my Naruto video. Which got blocked, by the way, in several countries. Including the US and Canada. I guess after two years, Tokyo TV finally decided, okay, it, uh, it was fun for two years, but not anymore. It's not for now. But thanks for watching and uh, bye.